At the northeast corner of 18th and Bishop, there's a sewer grate with a municipal stamp worn off. And if you lift with the legs, not the back, or bring a friend, it goes right into the parlor of a pissneck old troll with a ring in his lip, who sits at his easel all day painting impressions of the cars passing overhead that he never sees, only hears. And if you ever wondered what the sound of a car might look like in the mind's eye of a troglodytic brush worker, I highly recommend the excursion. However, I hasten to add the subterranean esthetes of the city, and yes, they do, dine and dance together on Friday nights beneath the old Clayton Theater, have grown increasingly enamored of service dwellers in the dragging seasons of their exile, and I would not put it past them to strap you down in chairs and draw your tongues out like taffy strips and thumb your ears down to nubs and mist your eyeballs with pinglish fungal juice and other such like rude ways to transform a guest into a bobbity old grouch of grotesque demeanor. Though, an unemployed peopleologist might speculate whether such alienation from a priori imperial symmetrical banality is such a hiskiskit thing all in all, what with the declining cohesion of the socio-systemic, patriosymbolic, sweet, generous, zeitengeist and chitin, in our post-irregular ribbits in the hand hewn woodshed, post-marshmallows over the crunchy fire, post-200 words per dirt, post-participatory construction of pig-locating rituals, post-whirlwind of generous malice, post-naked, post-proud, post-reproduction, postponed consumption, lazy unfair, etc., etc., ad nauseum vomitum abstractum subtractum. But be that as it may, I'd say. The idle commentationist has a smallish tongue, intact ears, and disinfected cornier, and has not, perhaps, submerged to the covens of the cavernous community in question. In my advice, if I may, if you please, should you show, show you will, is such as follows, that perhaps you might remain in the nest in the penthouse in the belfry of the metropolitan mammoth of phallic infallibility, and perhaps buy a high-powered telescope with 400 rosy-colored lenses for palatable precision, and perhaps buy the book by Dr. Abel Ryan Barton, with glossy centerfolds of tattooed natives in tasteful and culturally relevant exploitative poses, and perhaps buy an ant farm and name this one Adam and that one Steve, and extrapolate whatever habitual symbolic systems you like from their insectile skitterings. So each helicerae sends patternae subculture some Saturday, and write an abstract on Sunday as perhaps titled, Is Ant to Man, as analogy is to cogent argument. <laughs> And as you shake hands with your eminent colleagues, I shall remain down here and play saxophone in the savage society of these incognito, autocathonous, unwashed, untamed, undaunted bohemians. And if at the dawn of the dusk of the day no one should understand anyone any better than yesterday, what of it? The paint dries, the notes linger in the air, the cars roll by, and everybody grumbles and mutters.